Okay, can you guys say your name and what you do in From Ashes to New? I'm Lance. I'm Tim. Hi. I was gonna say. There we go. Let's try it. I'm Tim. I play drums. He's Lance. I'm Tim. I play guitar. Yep. Got it. Got it. Not confusing at all, right? <laughs> so, today's the last day of Warp Tour, so. How's your summer been? What's that? How's your summer been? Uh, hot? I thought you said, how's your sunburn? Yeah. How's your summer? No, I'm, Actually, the one, I mean, I'm the one with the sunburn. Yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, the whole tour without getting sunburn. Yeah, I mean, I stay out of the sun as much as possible. Like Just avoid sunlight. Fuck the sun. You ever care to say that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't care. He's a vampire. He's a vampire? That's not my sunburn. Um, so is this guy your guys' first year on World Tour? So uh, how do you think your reaction, the reaction for fans have been uh, at the Monster stage for you guys? It's been pretty good. Better than I thought. Yeah, I think we saw a lot of heavy, yes. like most of the bands on the stage were, and we were like, oh my god, these people are going to throw shit at us. <laughs> but <laughs> it turned out, it turned out pretty good. Uh, your guys' debut album, Day One, came out earlier this year um, and charted on the Billboard. Um, your music video has been getting a lot of attention. Um, what do you think? Like, how do you think that's been compared to like beforehand? Like, you had saw? Did you have songs before the album came out? So, like, how much more do you think like everything's changed since Day One came out? Not a damn thing has changed. <laughs> Do you have a do you have a hole in your pocket? I don't know. I'm gonna put that. Alright, that's a first. Uh, that's the only thing that's changed for me. That's the only thing that's changed is Mark was That's it. Um was the album like a smooth flowing process for you or did it take like a longer than you expected when it was coming to writing and recording? I wasn't cool, I'm out here. This isn't even my question. I wasn't here. Lance wasn't uh, with us when we did the record. But uh, it was it was good. Um, it took longer than we expected, but it didn't affect anything. It was actually made the record better, I think. So um, it was smooth. We had everything pretty much well pre pro production out at Matt's house before we went in. And, uh, there were some significant changes made with the producer, but it was all it was all good experience. Good experience. And most of you are from Lancaster, except for you are from Ohio. Yep. So. Did you find, like, growing up in Pennsylvania or that scene, or, or Ohio, did you find the scene was something similar to what you wanted to do, or was it very, either like, you know, pop punk or very, like, Taylor Swift radio play kind of? I don't have a scene where I live. There's nothing. There, there is no scene in Ohio? Some of the, like, cooler clubs have been closed down, like, in Cleveland that I used to play all the time. So I honestly don't know what the scene is. Lancaster definitely had a scene. Uh, we all grew up in bands together, so we all know each other. Plus, the band played my band, our bands played with Matt's band. Brandon would play for, like fill in for all of our bands, and our guitarists would quit or something like that. And we played with his band, so that's that's how we know each other is through our own scene. So. So now that this tour wraps, you guys are doing a Canadian leg with Five Finger Death Punch, Papa Roach, and Six AM. Um, what's it like playing with bands? Some of the bands that are like super established. I know Nikki Six has been touring since like before most of us were born. <laughs> so um, I toured with Five Finger Death Punch and Papa Roach last year, so uh, kind of familiar with those guys, and they treated us like. I don't know, they, we got treated like one of them. They treated us as if we were in Five Finger Death Punch. There was times where if we didn't get a dressing room, Five Finger like, would go get us a hotel room and make sure we were taken care of. It was really like, holy shit. These guys take care of the bands and don't want to be So, um, it's definitely a good experience. And this one's just there's so many bands you can't really equate the two. It's like, uh, have you found yourself making friends with anyone that's not really like you don't find on the monster stage or whatever? Or you being a vampire, you don't talk to anyone? I have friends. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think of who my darkness is. I'm not even friends with Amanda. We just 
got a really good team. There you go. <laughs> He's just a prop. <laughs> well, I mean, like, we became friends with the guys who are on our stage, and we would probably never get an opportunity to tour with. Like, uh, like Chelsea Grant. Those guys are way heavier than we would ever be able to tour with. But we got to uh, make friends with those guys. It was put back when Pepper was on the tour. It was like, that's a band we never tour with. That was, we got to jump around with those guys for a little bit. So, yeah, there's tons of instances. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, I've got one more question for you. So, if you had to explain From Ashes to New to someone that had never heard of them using your own song or lyric, what would you choose? Just make it the best song as a representation of the group. If you want, like, what do you think describes your band the most, like, musically? Oh, 